In my last video, I explained the changes Red Hat is making impacting Red Hat enterprise Linux-based distributions. If you're not familiar with those changes, go check that video out. One of the alternatives I mentioned was getting a developer account from Red Hat to install Red Hat Enterprise Linux on either a physical or a virtual machine. Now, this is going to be a great option if you're looking to go from one of those uh, Red Hat enterprise-based uh, distributions to actual Red Hat, or if you're just wanting to, um, to install Red Hat to be able to go ahead and test it directly from Red Hat. Um, so these uh, these options will work for both of those scenarios. This is B from Tay Talk Tech, and today I'm gonna tell you all about Red Hat's free developer account to get Red Hat Enterprise Linux for free, so stick with me. I have a favorite ask. If you like this type of video and wanna see more content like it, make sure you are subscribed and hit the bell button for notifications. Also, don't forget to give this video a like if you like it, let me know what you liked, didn't like, or if you have any comments, questions, concerns, or emotional outbursts down in the comments section below. And lastly, make sure you stick around all the way to the end to get the most out of this video. Let's do this thing. So let me, let me go ahead and shrink my face here. We're gonna keep my face in the, um, in the picture today, but I'm also going to have a website, Red Hat's website up here in the background. Now, what is the Red Hat Enterprise Linux or RAIL individual developer subscription? Uh, essentially what it is, it's a free account offered as part of the Red Hat developer program that allows individuals to access Red Hat Enterprise Linux for free. Now, Red Hat uh, Enterprise Linux uh, developer program is those, is tip, is primarily uh, geared towards those developing applications, but just because you're not developing applications does not mean that you can't take advantage of this free service. Now, you will need to register, and I will make sure to include a link down in the show notes below. Uh, this this uh, this account will give you the ability to install Red Hat Enterprise Linux on up to 16 systems for free, and these are either virtual or or uh, physical systems, uh, you will need to input your account credentials to register when you are going through the installation process. And I'll actually give you um, a look at that uh, a little bit later in the video. Now, this will be the exact same as the paid version, but will be considered self-supported. So that means you're responsible for all of your own support. You can't call Red Hat and ask them for help. Now, with your Red Hat account, you will have access to not only the regular documentation that Red Hat puts out, but also the Red Hat uh, customer portal, which is just additional assistance on top of the stuff that they already provide on their website at no charge. Um, I will also leave a link to that down in the show notes below. And then based on based on the um, based on the frequently asked question, it appears that the account defaults to a term length of one year. So uh, what that means is that um, you know after a year you will have to go ahead and renew your subscription. But they actually do include a process to extend it. So reference the frequently asked questions, um, which will be included in the show notes. And then the other thing is that this is for individual access only. I would advise against using this to run your company <laughs> as it could be against Red Hat's terms of service. So make sure you check out those frequently asked questions to go ahead and confirm that. Um, and it's really just not a good idea to use developer anything for production, uh, just generally. There, there are some exceptions, but generally you don't want to do that. So but yeah, let's go ahead and get into a demonstration of actually kind of getting stuff set up here. This right here is just the, developer uh, website, which is right here. And let's go ahead and go over here. Now, when you, this, this website will be linked down in the show notes below, but this is where you'll go to register for a Red Hat account. You'll just fill out all the information here. You'll choose a, uh, let's see here. You'll choose a Red Hat login. You'll choose a password. You'll put in your personal information and you'll do some of that. And then you'll just go ahead down here and you'll select create my account. Now, once you do that, you'll have to go to the developer website and go ahead and just sign in here. I'm actually already signed in, so I don't need to do that again. But this is this is kind of like your homepage as far as the developer goes. Now, the next thing that you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go ahead and get an ISO image that you can, so you can go ahead and install uh, Red Hat Enterprise Linux. So then what you'll do is you'll go up here to products and technologies and you'll go ahead and click on Red Hat Enterprise Linux. And then here, it's going to give you the option to, uh, let's go to download and slash sign up. And then you scroll down here, you're going to get all of the different versions of Red Hat Enterprise Linux. It goes back to 8.1.0. I'm sorry, 7.9.0 are the ones that it, um, that it has here going back to, and it goes all the way up to 9.2, which is the more recent release. So you'll be able to go ahead and download those ISOs here and just make sure you are taking your architecture into account, whether it's x86, uh, uh, 32 bit or if it's arm i'm i use a mac so this is the one that i actually had to download so just make sure you're taking that into account when you are downloading the um the red hat installation image now the last thing that i wanted to go ahead and 
um, show you was is how to connect to Red Hat during the installation process. I'm not going to go ahead and um, go over through the installation. I actually already have a video on installing Red Hat in a previous, um, well, I think it might have been Rocky Linux or Alma Linux or one of those two, but it's the same concept. It, basically, everything is the same. It's just slightly different because you have an additional, um, additional thing that you have to go ahead and fill out. So here, I've got the installation set up. Now, here is the summary. Now, you'll notice this thing here where it says connect to Red Hat. That's what you're going to need to do to be able to unlock this right here, which won't because it won't allow you to do the software selection without having it registered. So what you'll do is you'll just go to here and then you'll put in your username. You'll put in your password. I'm just going to put in a one for each one and then you would just hit register and then it'll go ahead and register with Red Hat. And that's going to go ahead and make sure that this ISO and this system are linked to your Red Hat subscription. So, yeah, pretty, pretty easy. I just wanted to make sure that I showed that to you because this is one of those things that could easily trip up um easily trip up a person so yeah that's how you uh get real for free check out this other video from my channel uh if you're interested remember mistakes make you better so keep on making them thank you so much for watching my video and have the greatest of days